What's up audit fans, Dr. Amanda White here with a new video today on the AI CPA exams. Now you've seen me talk about membership to Chartered Accountants Australia in New Zealand, CPA Australia and the Institute of Public Accountants. Those are the three main professional qualifications in Australia. But while I was in the US, I had the opportunity to talk to some people from the AI CPA and from NASBA, as well as a number of different exam preparation providers to talk about the different sort of system they have in the US. If you're not sure about how the US system works, well, neither was I. I went to uh, San Francisco to find out at the American Accounting Association annual conference. And what I've discovered was that there is not one particular organization for the entirety of the US that everyone belongs to. Um, here in Australia, you're a CPA, a CA, or an IPA member, and doesn't matter what state you're in, you sit the same exam, you've got the same entry requirements. However, in the US, it is slightly different. So different states have different requirements for what's in their exam, what are the educational requirements that lead up to that. So it's a slightly more complicated process than we have here in Australia and New Zealand. So first up, we're going to hear from Ashley from NASBA, and she's gonna talk a little bit about what NASBA does and the resources that they have if you are looking at doing the American CPA exam. Hey everyone, I'm here with Ashley from NASBA. Hi. And my understanding is that NASBA are, people say to me, oh look, NASBA are the people that release the CPA exam results. Mm -hmm. But you're probably a bit more than that. Absolutely, absolutely. So if you're a student and you're thinking, I want to become a CPA, and I'm trying to figure out what to do, what sort of resources do you have for them? Absolutely. So one of our main resources that I highly encourage all prospective and current CPA candidates to join is our online Facebook forum. Cool. This is called the CPA Exam Candidates Forum. And we'll it's put a, a link to that as well <laughs> down in the description. That's right. And it's a private Facebook group. It is candidates helping candidates. And students can go there and check out best practices, test tip, tips, study tips, ask about other CPA um, exam experiences, and it's just a really great online community to kind of find other cheerleaders and encouragers that are going through exactly what you're going through right now. Fantastic. So in comparison to a lot of different countries where there's just one exam that everybody mm -hmm. sits, in the US it's arranged a little bit differently with states, Correct. is that right? Correct. So we have 55 jurisdictions that candidates can sit in, um, and you can go to either that state board's page and look at all the requirements needed, or you could also go out, go out to the NASBA page and we can help you uh, figure out what qualifications and requirements you need. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, I will put links to all of these resources in the description, but I want to thank awesome. Ashley for yeah. talking. To Thank me. you. And uh, we'll chat to everyone later. See ya. So I hope that chat from NASBA was actually um, useful to you if you're from outside the US jurisdiction but looking to do the AICPA from within the US. Next up is how do you actually prepare for these exams? Now, in Australia and New Zealand, CPA Australia, CA or Chartered Accountants and the IPA all administer their own exams. They have their own learning content that you work through that is administered by those professional bodies. In the US, it works really differently. You choose an exam prep provider. And I've talked to a whole range of exam prep providers at this particular conference, and now you're gonna hear little snippets from each of them about why you might choose each of those providers. Now, I didn't look into any of these beforehand. I don't endorse one over the other. These were all exam prep providers at the conference, and I wanted to give them all a chance to talk to you about what sort of services they provide. Hi everyone, I'm here with Mike from Becker. Now tell me, Mike, what do you do and what does Becker do? So Becker is the longest running provider of CPA exam reviews for students. We also do continuing professional education, which is the thing that once you get your license, you still have to worry about uh, for the rest of your career to keep your license yeah, current. Yeah, the lifelong learning is That's really it. important. It's critical, it's critical. And, and we believe that continuing education should be valuable. It should be something that a person can leverage as they develop in their career, uh, not just sort of a perfunctory uh, check the box. It does feel like sometimes uh, you have to do it. Yes. So 
It's true. Cool. So my role with Becker, um, my title is Director of Product Management, which I like to say is a long-winded way of saying. I look, I'm the shepherd of our products, our CPA and CP products. I kind of look after them in their strategic direction. Uh, and then when I, when I get loose from my office, I get to teach. So that's my true passion is teaching. Um, I'm a national instructor, so I'm on uh, several of Becker's CPA review videos, and I'm also on a number of their CPA courses. Fantastic. Yeah. And why would students choose Becker as their CPA review provider? Because we're the best. At least that. now I'm sure no other and said. I'm sure I'm sure no other provider would say that um, well I think in terms of track record right so we've been around for over 60 years this has been our bread and butter this is what we do um, we are under contract with all the top 100 accounting firms to provide our services we're partnered with a number of other organizations and universities um, I think probably the most telling statistic I could cite is the Elijah Watt sales award so the Watt Cells rec represents the highest scoring folks on the exam each year. And for the past decade plus, if memory serves, we've had over 90% of those winners. Wow. Now I think that, that really goes to the heart of what Becker is, which is we're not teaching, right? You need, you need four or five years of college to set in kind of build the foundation with all the content. Our job is to hone a person. So I look at it as you take a person with a good foundation, add Becker to them, they pass the exam. You take someone with a incredible foundation and you add Becker to them, they become what sales winners. So I think it shows that it's it's our role to kind of hone and focus the knowledge for this very specific purpose. And that's what I think Becker does an incredible job of. Fantastic. I will leave all the links to Becker and their programs in the description. But thanks very much, Mike. No, for perfect. Us. Love it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Valerie. Valerie, tell me who do you work for and what do you do? Sure. Well, thanks for having me, Amanda. I'm Valerie Wendt. I'm the CPA product manager at Glime Exam Review. And I oversee the exam prep for the CPA review product line for the company. Fantastic. And so if a student is looking to do the CPA, mm -hmm. they need to choose a review company. Right. Why would they choose you? Well, it's important that people who are studying for the CPA exam are choosing a review course provider that aligns with the way they study. And the good thing about the GLIME uh, review system is that it's adaptive in nature. It helps the candidates save valuable study time. So if you time. don't get something, it'll give you... It will actually direct you to the area of the course mm -hmm. where you really need to spend your time studying. Study time is at a premium, and so our course will help them use that time wisely. And it not only feeds you the topics and information for the troublesome area, Areas, it will consistently remind you of the stuff that you seem to have a mastery mm -hmm. so you don't forget it. Fantastic. Excellent. Well, I will leave all the details to the Glime website down in the description so that you can check yeah. it out. Yeah, check us out. We Thanks. love it. I'm here with Rob from Roger CPA. Rob, tell me what it is that you do and what Roger CPA provides for students who are looking to sit the CPA exam. Okay, I will do that. Thank you for the opportunity to talk. So what we do at Roger CPA is uh, we well, let me talk about what I do at Roger CPA first, is I work on the product at Roger CPA. So um, that means that I've uh, had a lot to do with the software, a lot to do with the questions, a lot to do with uh, the team that puts mm -hmm. everything together. And so uh, one of the things that we have done that's been very successful over time is, uh, first of all, we have a lot of character and a lot of um, energy behind Roger himself. Roger is our main person on video, and um, he is funny goofy, tells jokes, does crazy stuff, cool. drinks a lot of Mountain Dew, and is uh, inspiring. And when you are a student uh, trying to make your way through the preparation for the CPA exam, which is not always the easiest thing to you know, get under your belt, it's, he has become a friend to them on video. Fantastic. So that's kind of the first round that we have. But then let's talk about substance. What we also have along with that is um, we are adding deeper level explanations to every question that we do, which means that you're, we have a learning by doing uh, presentation. So we, in our questions, in our explanations, we have a learn by doing approach, which means that as you're working through a question, and if you get it right, fine, you get it right and you go on. If you don't get it right, then you've run into an issue where you have to get a better understanding so that when you go to the next problem like that or one that's similar to it, you have some basic um, understanding. Yeah. So we're, what we're doing is we're building a whole teaching module for each question. It has a visual, it has a, a succinct explanation, and the idea is that you'll learn each chunk, not because you just have to read what the right and wrong is, but because it engages you. It gets right to the point. There's a visual that summarizes it immediately and you move right into what you're doing. So 
That's Fantastic. that's what we're doing. So we've got Roger engaging, giving the bigger picture, giving you kind of the, the personal touch, and then in the question by question uh, support, okay, we're teaching we're ready. you. Our very first drawing. We're getting the wrap me. up from the uh, main conference here. Hey, so thanks very much, Rob. Enjoy does the that, conference. Over ear headphones. Hi, everybody. I'm here with Liz. Liz, tell me what you do and what you've built here at Surgeon. Well, thank you. My name is Liz Kohler. I am the Chief Knowledge Officer at Surgeon Professional Education. I co founded our exam prep product line. We prepare candidates for the USCP exam, the CMA exam the CIA exam, CISA exam, and the enrolled agent exam. We also offer continuing professional education for accounting professionals. And so why would a student who needs a CPA review course choose you? Well, we built Surgeon with uh, the idea in mind that we really wanted to change how people prepared for the CPA exam. I thought there was a problem in that students were giving, being given a lot of information, almost too much information, and they weren't able to effectively study for everything in the time allotted they had to pass all four, four parts. So we created a really powerful adaptive technology where we first assess students, we figure out what they know, Always good to know that base level. Yeah, but more importantly, what they don't know, and we create a custom learning path for each individual student, getting them to the end goal of passing in a much shorter period of time. So typically for our CPA candidates, we see students being able to effectively study and prepare in 60 hours, 70 hours, compared to traditionally what we see, 150, 200 hours for one section. We also created a technology where we can tell students when they're ready to sit for the exam. They get what's called a ready score. Oh, wow. So if we recommend that students are scoring 75, 80% in their studies. So when they go to take the CPA exam, they know they're ready to take the test. And what we found is students are scoring within four points of their ready score in our that software. Conf confidence has a big impact on performance as well. It's that self-efficacy performance relationship. If you don't have confidence going into the exam, your anxiety levels are going to be higher. If you know you're ready, you can go in there with confidence and hopefully pass very Fantastic. easily. Fantastic, all right. Well, I will put all the details to the Surgeon website and all of their products in the description here, and I believe it's lifetime access, right? Yes, unlimited access to the products for our CPA prep. We want our students to pass, and we don't want them to feel pressure. So however long it takes them to get through, we'll give that to them. Fantastic, excellent. Thanks for talking to me, Liz. Thank you, I appreciate it, Amanda. I'm here with Mike from Wiley. Mike, tell me what it is that you do and what Wiley does to help students with the CPA program. Okay. So what I do, my responsibility is I'm Vice President of Global Sales for Wiley Efficient Learning, which is all test prep, CPA, CFA, CMA, all the high licensing exams. And with regard to the CPA exam in particular, uh, working with the Wiley platform, one of the things that I believe we deliver is an incredible uh, technology experience. We also have wrapped around that technology is some of the best faculty, literally in the world, that teach exam prep. So from that standpoint, we have these great pieces of content, so to speak. But then there's the next element, how do you help people prep? And I look at that kind of in a couple of areas, and I'd say maybe three keys. And the first key is that it's all about questions. When we get ready for these major exams, mm. it's about practice, understanding the, the way the questions are put to the candidates to become adaptive to these you know, unique type of questions not traditionally seen in regular college textbooks. So to that, it's a 12,000 question database to make wow. sure students are really getting on task. And that's multiple choice, let alone other 500 task-based simulations. So it's all about questions. Now, the second element when I look at this is taking the questions, the lectures, all of these pieces of technology and wrapping them together into one simplified approach to prepping, and that's something I designed, which is called the exam planner. Now, the exam planner is based on what former students have done, who are successful, and from that, if you simply do what's called modeling, which is what people who have done before you who are successful, if you copy that model, you'll produce similar results. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint, our exam planner 
customizes, it's a benchmark, it's based on statistics, analytics of former successful students. So that's like number two. It pulls all of that together, customized to your schedule, when you want to start and when you want to sit. And then lastly, it's to support students, because not everybody's going to make it. Even though we have a 90% pass rate for those that go through our program, the reality is some aren't going to make it. Life happens, mm. and as a result of that, we're the student's partner until they pass. So we give them access, updated content until they pass the exam. I don't care when that is, if that's one year out, two years out, 10 years out, Something we're still happens, there. Something happens, you have a baby, you get in an accident. And it happens. Yeah, <laughs> life happens to everybody. So that's kind of our my overview of how I look at the Wiley uh, tools and how we support the students in becoming successful on the exam. Fantastic. Well, I will put all of the details to the Wiley program in the description to the comments uh, for the video. And if you have any questions, you can contact them directly. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Mike, and have a great conference. Thank you. Great meeting. That's all the information that I have for you on the AICPA. Now, certainly there are plenty of other channels out there that go into the AICPA exams and how to study for them and how to pass them in a lot more depth. Definitely check out all of the providers. I've got all of their links in the description to this video. You can check out their social media accounts. They're often at a lot of different university campuses as well, because in the US, you can actually study to do your CPA exam while you're actually studying at university. It's a little bit different than uh, some of the programs that we have here. So if you're in the US, check them out on campus, check out the NASBA website, and also their free forum where you can get all sorts of advice from people who are currently sitting the CPA, who have completed completed the CPA. Um, and if you've got any AI CPA questions, certainly hit up the AI CPA or the state CPA board where you are. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. Yes. Okay, so go ahead. Reboot. All right. <laughs> and these are good outtakes. This will all be in the bloopers at the end. <laughs> People want to see this more than our actually this our, our discussion.